Okay, y'all, so I am attempting to vlog this. I'm going to Walmart to get me some needle and fabric, some thread, needle and thread, and some fabric. Because the thread that I got from my sewing machine, it's like, it's not good with my, um, it's not going good. So, I'm sorry, the sun is shining bright like a diamond. But, yeah, so hopefully this goes good. I'm might, While I'm in Walmart, I might as well pick up some other things. So, I'm going to just see how this go. Okay, y'all, so I am in the fabric aisle, but I do not know what to get. All this fabric. Um, I just got to figure out what I'm going to... They got this for $5. It looked like a lot, even though I'm just practicing, so... Yeah, they got that, but then I came over here and I seen these for 97 cents. So, um, of course, I gotta get pink. I'm gonna get pink and black. Don't know what I'm gonna make, but it's a dollar. It's 97 cents. So that's what I'm gonna grab until now. Um, now, this stuff, I don't really know. They got buttons. Oh, here. Okay, this is what I need. Should I get black thread? Yeah, I'm gonna get some black thread. Ooh, don't look at my nails. I'm gonna get some black thread because the thread that I got, it won't. It's not secure, and it it won't like. Pull, the thread just be staying there so hopefully this is the right size yeah this is a good size and then I'm gonna get blue dark blue so I can see what I'm doing because obviously I'm just practicing so <sighs> got these two oh shoot oh never mind I got um because I'm saying I got these two in this so would that go but it don't really matter if it goes or not because i'm not really about to make nothing um do i need scissors no i do not need any scissors and while i'm in walmart i might as well grab something else like food so what i'm gonna do is cut through here Cut through the men's section. Shoot, it's kind of hard to navigate through here. So yeah, I, today I've been practicing all day. And I'm like looking up YouTube videos because I got a vintage sewing machine that I really wanted and my boyfriend got it for me for Christmas. So um, that's what I'm using. And it's kind of, it was kind of complicated to figure it out, but I got it. So hopefully I can um, show y'all what it looks like. So y'all can see what I'm working with. But I had to get some thread and some new needle because, I mean not needle, but I had to get some new thread because that jump was not, it was not working out for me. You know what, I told myself I was not finna, you know what, yeah, I'm not buying no food. Now I'ma cook a whole bunch of food. And uh, my other mama made some dip, so. Some Rotel dip, so. I don't really, excuse me. So I don't really need to buy no groceries or nothing. So I'ma hit y'all up when I get back in the car or something. Until I show y'all my phone machine, actually. 
I had to come back. Don't y'all hate when somebody asks y'all to get them something and they be like, just get some candy. Like, all right. And then when I bring it back, this you gonna like it. Like, I really don't know like what to grab. So I know he gonna eat these. And then I don't know, maybe these or some Skittles. See, I don't, this is what makes me mad. Like, if you don't, if you want something, you need to be specific because I don't really know what you want. And then if I waste my money, I'm gonna be so mad. So, I'm gonna just get Sour Patch Kid or Skittles? Skittles, which one? I'm gonna get Skittles. That's least problematic because, you know, everybody don't eat sour stuff because I know I don't. And I don't really remember it, seeing him eat Sour Patch Kids, so. <sighs> what else do I need from Walmart? I don't know. I'll be back. Hello guys, I decided to show you guys in a voiceover. This is my vintage sewing machine. Um, this is a Kenmore sewing machine. This is the thing that I was talking about. The thread is too loose. Um, and I feel like it will yank too much and hinder the process. So I got a new one. But this is a 1040 Kenmore sewing machine. Um, just thought I'd show you guys um, a little bit of how it looks. This is a stand. Like it extends. This actually goes inside of there. That's the bobbin in the far back. Um, I had to show you guys every knob because it's kind of cool to me. I'm actually learning about all of these things. Um, it might not be a long process because they do have videos on this specific sewing machine. Um, all the knobs and stuff. I think I got it pretty easy to be honest. I'm going to take this out to show you um the bobbin area um like i said i got this from the thrift store this is vintage i haven't got a chance to clean it out yet um those are the attachments for the sewing part when you have different materials and i had some technical difficulties trying to put this back I finally decided to just take out the bobbin and show that. You know what I'm saying? Just show that. It's easy to um, take apart. But it's very small and cute. Um, I had to make sure that I was putting it in the correct way. Um, and it was going clockwise, I think. Um, it's very small and easy. Um and you just actually just pop it right back in there. Just make sure it's in there the correct way and the string is hanging out the back. I think that's at least what I learned. Um, and this thing, I'm not sure why it's so tricky for me, but it was really hard. Like I had to figure out because one day I'm just going to have to figure it out regardless. So that's why I just didn't give up on this video. <laughs> Sorry if it's um annoying for you guys to watch, but... For some reason, it's so awkwardly in here. And this is made to go all the way in there. And I had it a little bit out. So it can be the extension for whatever I wanted to sew. So that can lay on there. That that was the whole point of me having it out. But I had to show you guys the inside and all that type of stuff. So that's the reason why I wanted to do all of this i'm sorry i'm really thinking so hard on how this is supposed to go in there as you can see so i'm gonna fast forward it once again and hey good things come to those who wait and are patient because look at this after all so yeah it's pretty cute i love this swim machine i just wish it would work um for some reason it's not working so yeah love you guys